All right, I want to talk about the same boat, the Walking Dead episode last night, the same boat with Carol. It's always about Carol for me. I adore Carol, okay? So let's talk about this. At first, I thought she's doing the, I'm so weak. I, I, I don't know how to use a gun bit that she likes to do, you know, to trick people. Um, brilliant. But then as the episode went on, I went, what the, is she turning into Morgan? Like, is she having such a, a break in, in morals and values and consciousness that she's like, well, I just can't kill anybody. I just can't. I don't care. I can't. I just, I have to feel good about myself and wake up in the morning and blah, 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 blah. No, no, no. In fact, this went on. I was so, I was getting so discouraged and I couldn't tell the difference between whether she was really, this was really an act or whether this was her really having a moral conscious break, uh, breakdown. And I, 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 it was so beautiful the way Melissa McBride acted. I, I, she blows me away. And basically, I'm I'm basically Carol because my name starts with C2. So basically, that makes me Carol. That's how I see it in my head. Um, th this is what I think. The, the progression of that episode last night was absolutely breathtaking because you saw her struggle, 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 struggle. And then as soon as Shell cut that, what, cut Maggie, like... <sighs> Uh-uh, Mama Carol said, eat the cookies, motherfucker. And she popped that girl, popped her. Boom, bye-bye. Bye-bye, Shell. Don't you mess with no babies under Carol's watch. And I was like, yes, there's Carol. Carol's back, I'm happy. But then she's, you could still see her struggling. Um, it was almost heartbreaking how, it was, how she portrayed it. It was, it was beautifully done. Okay, and then let's talk about the end, because literally, literally, as soon as the door opens, and I know everybody was focused on Maggie and Glenn, and oh my gosh, Maggie and Glenn, but all I saw in that background was that beautiful reunion between Carol and Daryl. Carol's a little ho-ho. Did you see? She kisses Tobin last week, and then this week, Daryl goes up to her. Are you Okay. She says no. He does the chin tuck. That, that, my friend, that, my friend, is a total I'm in your panties or wannabe move. Tucks the chin. And then when she says no, Daryl says come here and envelops her. I literally replayed that over and over and over. Like my, oh my God, I was like, I was... That was like the moment for me. Like it was totally worth it. Everything, all the... Oh my gosh, all the tense mo are the or will they ah! Ah! Carol and Daryl forever. It's beautiful. Beautiful. And at this point, I really think there's gonna be a bro down showdown between Daryl and Tobin. And I personally wanna see that. And I think Glenn should referee. No Rick. No Glenn. It doesn't matter. No Rick. Yeah, Rick. They should referee. Somebody should. I'd love to see that. And I can't wait to see where Carol Carol goes in particular, but also Carol and Daryl. Because I don't want to say that's 90% of the why I tune in, but it is. All right, not 90%, but a majority of it. Um, so this is my recap of The Same Boat, The Walking Dead. Um, love it, love it, love it. Tell me what you think. Comment below. Share your thoughts. Um, tell me if you think I'm nuts on the Tobin Daryl showdown or uh if Carol and Daryl that was like a loving touching moment tell me if I'm wrong about that tell me I want to know I want to know all right until I flip out again and have to share what I think again on the walking dead I'll see you later this is crystal chats oh by the way subscribe to my channel it's painless it's totally painless to subscribe to my channel and I'm freaking funny for the most part when I have coffee in me and I make funny, like I get all excited.